Hi everyone, myself Akash. I am from Kerala Med. Today I have Danish with me, who is doing his MTech research in NIT Suratkal from a mechanical branch. Hi Danish, welcome to the session. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for inviting me for this session. Uh, for first, I would like to thank the entire team of Kerala Med uh, for this wonderful initiative that they have been doing from the past few years. Uh, and they have helped me also to get an ITK so that then, uh, so it's a very uh, wonderful in initiative that they have taken, uh, and I'm very thankful for uh, it uh, to the entire team. Okay, okay, Danish, uh, you introduce about yourself regarding your CGPA and GATE score. Yeah, so I did my BE in, in mechanical engineering from Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Technology, Mumbai. Uh, mm -hmm. in the year 2019 with a CGPA of 7.81. I then gave the uh, 2020 examination uh, and qualified with AIR of uh, 7739 uh, mm -hmm. and GATE score of 562. Okay. Okay. Tell me one thing. Uh, why do, why you choose uh, MTech research? Why not any other college by CCMT? So actually I wanted to do MTech from, uh, from a top NIT. But mm -hmm. as you know, uh, my, scale, uh, my score was not that, that good. So mm -hmm. I couldn't get any of the top NIT through CCMT counseling. Uh, mm -hmm. I applied for uh, several, several uh, NITs uh, mm -hmm. who are in the top five category. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, I didn't got any one of that. Uh, so later I got to know about the MTech research program at NITK through mm -hmm. Sama. Uh, so also I got to know from my seniors that uh, this program is very good and Equal placement opportunities are given to uh, both MTech research and MTech regular students. So mm -hmm. I op opted for it. Okay. Okay. Uh, tell me what is the range of GATE score and CGPA required for uh, mechanical guys to get into this MTech research? Uh, I think uh, if you have a GATE score of around uh, 400, so mm -hmm. uh, I think it would be uh, very good and if you have a, a pointer of more than 8 or 7.5 mm -hmm. uh, that would be very much beneficial but I would suggest everyone to apply for it uh, and give it a chance even they have less grade score. Okay. What is the uh, procedure of selection? Does it has only interview or interview plus written exam? Uh, uh, last year they took only uh, interview. Uh, okay. Uh, there was no written test for the mechanical students, mm -hmm. uh, but this year I uh, I can't say anything. They might take the interview, uh, okay. but you have to be prepared for it. Uh, uh, so interview is a short. Uh, it will be a five a five to ten minute short interview. They will just ask you about the basics. Okay. Um, what and all department you had applied? So in mechanical there are uh, four departments: mechanical mm -hmm. design, thermal. Uh, then manufacturing and the last one is mechatronics. You can yeah. apply in all four branches. Mm -hmm. I applied only in mechanical design and in thermal specialization. Okay. I got uh, the interview calls for both of them. Okay, you applied for mechanical design and thermal. I also saw people. Yeah, I also saw people who applied for all the four departments, mm -hmm. uh, for all the four specializations, uh, and they got the interview calls from uh, all of them. Okay. Can you share your interview experience? Okay, so first they shortlisted, first they shortlisted uh, on the basis of uh, grade score for the interview. Mm -hmm. uh, since there was no written test, uh, uh, also I think around 70 to 80 students were shortlisted for the interview. Mm -hmm. uh, so during the interview, they will first ask you the preference uh, of, of your spe specialization. Like uh, in which branch you are, uh, in which specialization you are interested in, like uh, mechanical design, thermal, or manufacturing, or mechatronics. So mm -hmm. first you have to uh, say that. Uh, after that, uh, they will ask you questions related to the preference you selected. Mm -hmm. uh, and interview will be for around ten minutes, and basic questions uh, related to strength of materials, uh, machine design, vibrations will be asked. So first, they will tell you to give a short introduction about yourself. Uh, uh, so what I did was I told that I am interested in vibrations in song. So mm. they asked me what is plane stress, plane strength, 
tank strain condition uh, what is natural frequency what is the difference between couple and moment so these mm. uh, basic questions were asked to me uh, later on they shifted to uh, finite element analysis because in the uh, in introduction uh, i said uh, that uh, i was interested in uh, using simulation software like ansys so mm. they uh, asked me questions about uh, fe also mm. uh, then uh, they asked me about my research interest Mm -hmm. uh, so my advice for the students would be to have a look uh, what is what all research is going on in the institute. Uh, so what you can do is you can uh, look at the profile of the professors by visiting the uh, department web page, uh, and you can look for all uh, interest of what the area of expert expertise is, uh, and you can re uh, if you are interested in that area then search two to three papers and just read the abstract and get an idea of uh, what the professor is doing uh, and what you can do is uh, you can mention th this in the interview if you are really confident about it so mm. the whole idea is to make them feel uh, that you are really interested in research uh, mm. and this will help you a lot during interview but uh, i would suggest you to do this only uh, if you if you were able to understand the abstract clearly, uh, also be ready to face in, uh, questions related to, uh, related to that. Uh, also, make sure that the subjects related to the uh, related to that topic must be cleared uh, so that you can answer any any questions. Uh, lastly, uh, professors would uh, they just want to know uh, whether you are really interested in research or not. Uh, mm -hmm. So the professor who will take your interview, and if you are selected for the program, you, they will be your guide too. Uh, okay. So regarding the preparation, uh, I prepared from, from uh, your PG education. Uh, okay. They have uploaded six to seven hours of uh, a video on uh, strength of material thermodynamics. Mm. You can refer that videos as well. Okay. Okay. Um, since it is a research program, does any prior proposal is necessary? Uh, no, they don't ask for research proposal, but during the time of uh, application form filling, uh, they will uh, ask you to mention your uh, uh, area, of area of specialization and your interest. Okay. Uh, what is the main difference between MTech research and regular MTech in terms of curriculum or fees or uh, Stefan? Uh, when it comes to the fees, uh, fees are same for both the programs. Mm -hmm. uh, and as far as stipend is concerned, uh, stipend will be given for a maximum of 24 months, that mm -hmm. is two years. Uh, and in case if your degree extends beyond two years, uh, you will not get additional stipend. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, the courses are concerned, you have to complete 12 credits uh, and that is done by taking four subjects. Mm -hmm. uh, of each, uh, one subject is of three credit. Uh, your guide will alert you at the start of the program. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, yeah. But if you also want to take uh, more course, uh, if you also want to take more courses uh, to learn and uh, enhance your skills, uh, mm -hmm. you can audit courses with your guide's permission. Mm -hmm. uh, and in, in that way, you just have to fulfill the criteria uh, what the course instruct instructor wants to fulfill. Okay. So auditing subjects is also a good idea to learn any of the subjects. Okay. Okay, then what about the placement opportunities for MTech research? Does it same for same for both a regular and MTech research students? Uh, placements uh, are equally same for both the uh, programs that is MTech research and MTech regular. But for uh, MTech research, we are not allowed to sit for the internship program. Mm -hmm. uh, but in some cases, uh, guide might allow you to sit for the uh, internship uh, if they have a reference in a certain company. Uh, if they want you to do a project in a company, uh, then guide might allow you might allow you to do it. Okay. What about but the average? Okay. Uh, yeah. Average. Yeah. But you won't be able to. Uh, you uh, you won't be allowed to sit for the internships uh, that are that are happening in the uh, in the college. Okay. But you can uh, get into any research internship. Uh, as far as mecha mechanical department is concerned, I don't think so. Uh, they allow for research internships. Okay. What about this is what my senior said. Okay, then they are you are not allowed for research internship as well as an a uh, normal internship also. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
uh, but you will have the same opportunities uh, in the placement yeah we will have same opportunities during the campus placement okay what about the average packages uh, average package uh, if i talk about this year uh, of my seniors batch uh, almost 12 to 13 students of mechanical design are placed out of 18 students mm. uh, and the average package is around 5 uh, to 6 6 to 7 lakhs i guess okay this is what i heard from my seniors mm. uh, and the companies that uh, came to the campus were uh, volvo siemens uh, boeing uh, mm. alstom vapco okay. applied materials mm. so you will you don't have to worry about the campus placements mm. what about the career opportunities after uh, this course in terms of uh, research so, research or in terms of an a uh, job profile uh, so if you want to do P, uh, phd uh, mm. so this will be a very good course for you if you mm. are highly inclined towards research uh, and this program will benefit you a lot but if you want to go for a corporate job uh, and you are searching for r and d profile mm. uh, you can avail that opportunity as well from this program okay now um, as a senior what is your suggestion to the juniors who wants to join this uh, mtech research program this year so my advice for the juniors would be uh, to prepare the basic subjects for the interview mm. uh, because after you get the uh, call letter you almost get uh, 10 days after the uh, you almost get uh, 10 days uh, mm. for the preparation uh, so what you do is you focus in which program you are interested and then do that subjects well. For example, if, if you are interested in uh, machine design uh, mm. or mechanical design, then you do subjects like strength of materials, uh, machine design, vibrations. Mm. Uh, also prepare for the other specialization subjects you have filled. Like if you have uh, filled for the thermal specialization, mm. then you do subjects like uh, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics and heat transfer. Uh, mm. Lastly, uh, go through the professor's profile as I mentioned before uh, and find your interest, uh, research interest that matches with yours uh, and you can read the abstract and get an idea of what the professor is doing, just like I said before. Uh, but uh, also, uh, I would like to say that if you uh, use this thing, you have to be confident enough uh, to answer the questions that will be bombarded uh, uh, related to that topic. Mm. So, regarding the written test, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know whether they will take the written test or not this year, but you have to be prepared for that as well. Uh, lastly, I would like to say that uh, don't lose hope, keep working, and I'm really confident that uh, you will definitely get, get what you want and all the best. Mm. Okay. okay, Danish, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you, bro.